Hello, uh, this is uh, the video for about uh, sequential function charts. Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, speak about uh, the step skip, step skip, and the sequence backwards skip. Then I'm going to speak about the mutual exclusion uh, semaphore, and then about the start action and uh, present an example in point uh, four. So the steps skip is this structure where we got uh, uh, one decision. So uh, if uh, this step three is active uh, here, this is active, uh, we have a decision here. So this decision actually depends of, on the variable B. If the variable B and the variable P uh, are uh, 1, the, it is uh, logical and is equal to 1, so we have a skip of this uh, sequence of uh, steps and, uh, and we jump to this point, okay? The step skip is a kind of jump and uh, the sequence uh, backward is the same thing but is a kind of cycle, so if uh, this condition, transition condition is true, and uh, so it, it means that we we return to this uh, point and we repeat this and, uh, while this uh, condition is uh, true. So, uh, regarding the mutual exclusion that we have, sp have spoken in the previous video, there is one uh, uh, structure which, which is called uh, the SMAFR, uh, which is the actually is this. Uh, it consists of this um, this uh, initial uh, step, and this step is going to control the access to this uh, between sequence one and sequence two. Okay, I'm going to explain this a little bit in the following uh, slides. So uh, when we got uh, uh, this case where we got the transition, uh, the step five active, and this. Uh, Step nine, uh, step nine active. So this is a sequence one. So in this case, um, okay, we just have um, so this uh, synchronization is 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 uh, enabled. So this transition is enabled, and uh, we can fire this transition. Okay, which happens here. Okay, so. After we fire this uh, transition, uh, e even if we have like the, a token here, uh, we cannot fire the transition, uh, this one, because uh, this uh, step is uh, it does not enable uh, the clearance of the transition. Okay, so uh, this is the case where we got the conflict. So we got in this case we have to have a decision. Uh, which which one of these uh, transitions, if this one and this one, which one is going to be uh, fire first? Okay, uh, we, we are going to explain this uh, better with an example that I'm going to explain in a while. But before that, I'm going to to speak about the store action. The store uh, action, okay, the. Uh, an output variable is going to assume a, a logical value and maintain that logical value until a new event uh, changes that state. So, for instance, uh, if uh, this step 12 is active, uh, it means that uh, we should execute this function. But uh, uh, this is a, a type of action that has an associated an event, and this event uh, is depending on this uh, rising edge of this variable. So when the, this is uh, active and this uh, event occurs, this uh, rising edge, then the variable g uh, is uh, going to assume the variable zero. So this is uh, a store action. And, uh, and g is going to, to assume this value until a new order is going to, to change it. Okay, so the example that we are going to, to see is this one. It is also in the a graph, a graph set plus. I'm going to, we got a solution here uh, already, but uh, that you can check in the a graph set plus. But um, um, I'm going to solve it. Uh, uh, so this problem, uh, we have uh, two k 
cars, car C1 and car C2. Uh, each one of the cars has, uh, the, has a motor and the motor can be activated to the, to the right or to the left using these, uh, these uh, outputs. M1 and M2 for C1 and M3 and M4 for C2. And then we got uh, uh, two buttons, P1 and P2. If I press P1 here, it means that I want the car C1 to, to, to perform the cycle from A to C and then back again to A. So the car should do this trip. And then, uh, okay, I have to change this, uh, this needle to this position. It should come this way and then return again to the same position. So, if uh, uh, P2 is pressed, then we are, I have to do the to move the car C2 from B uh, towards uh, C and back again to B. Okay, so it's going to do this uh, journey here to this point and then back again to the same, posi same, same position. Okay, in this case, I'm going to assume that the V is uh, in this uh, direction. So, in the direction of P. I'm going to use in the solution also only the continuous actions. Okay. Uh, okay. So, in this case, this is the share. This is the, the part which is shares the, the track, which is uh, shared by both uh, cars. Car C1 and C2. So, I, I can only uh, let one of the cars use this. So, that's, that's why you need to... To, to use us, uh, we can use a semaphore to, to control the access to this share uh, resource. Okay, so I'm going to change for um, for the one note, and we have the same uh, uh, drawing here. So I'm going to draw the, the the diagram, and the diagram I can I begin to. So I'm going to begin with the input step that I'm going to call it one. And this input step it means that uh, the car C1 is in the in A in the in the position A. Okay. Then uh, okay uh, the transition the the transition condition here for transition one is P1. If P1 is pressed, okay, then I have to move to another step, step two, and in step two I have to to uh, to trigger the, or to to give the order to the action to to move the C1. In this case, this is uh, M. Okay, I'm going to connect to M1. So M1 is this one here. I'm going to activate M1 to push the car or to move the car to the tower C. Okay. So um, in this point, okay, this is going to move and. Um, until it reaches the okay, I'm going to call this the needle D. The, okay, until it reaches the D1. Okay, this is the transition tool. So D1 uh, actually is the is the, the the reaching of the car to this position, and in this position, he, he, the car must ask okay if the share if this share resource is free or not. Okay, so this is step three. And here, so we are going to use that uh, uh, initial step that I'm going to call here for, which is actually is active initially. So okay, and uh, we are. I'm not. I'm only going to allow uh, this uh, uh, car to move is if 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 we got the permission from this uh, step. Okay, so. I'm going to, so I'm going to put here. This is going to be transition three, and uh, okay. Um, then I'm, I'm I'm going to put something here, but not not now. Uh, okay, and uh, so in the step four five in this case, okay, step five, I'm going to continue to move the car uh, to the right M1, but then I am also I'm going to control the needle, so I have to activate V. So the needle goes to this uh, the, to this uh, direction. Okay. So uh, the car is going to move until it reaches this point here. Okay. Sorry. Until it reaches this point here, which is 
I'm going to put here the transition 4 until it reaches C. Reaching C, uh, I'm going to put uh, uh, step 6. Step 6, um, I have to, to have two actions. The one is, uh, the first one is to invert the motor, which is M2, and the same one to, uh, to control uh, the, the needle to the same position, okay? So, um, continuing with this, uh, okay, uh, when I reach again, the, which is the transition 5, when I reach again the D1, so in this case I don't need, the, I just pass the, the okay, if, I, if I, I am in this, pool, in this point, going back, I can release the, the shared resource, uh, the, uh, this one, this part here, so in this part I have to do two things. I have here a, a distribution, so I can, uh, okay, say, okay, I don't need um, the, I can return the, the token to this uh, form, and uh, I can also uh, uh, have another step, step seven, where I can continue to move the, the trolley to the to the to the A position, okay, the M2, and uh, okay, I still I need a little bit more space. Uh, so in this point, uh, I can uh, okay, he's going to move the car until uh, the A position is uh, reached. If the A position is reached, uh, so I I conclude, so I can uh, return the, the token to the initial step, so I'm going to connect it to this point here, and this uh, ends the um, this ends uh, the cycle from A to B and uh, back again to C and back again to A. Okay, so the other uh, part is exactly the same, so I could uh, do the same thing here. Um, so the same thing. So uh, I mean, I, I should have a, a step. Sorry, it's better to use uh, a step here. An initial step, uh, uh, which will it will be the eighth step. It, it, this means that the car, the car two, is in uh, in the B position. Okay. Now, if the if my, if, you, the, if P two is pressed. Then I'll move to to another. Uh, sorry, it's better to put this better, right? Uh, oh, sorry. Okay, I'm going to put here the the nine. Should be moving the motor to the to with uh, this uh, M3. So M3 is going to be the. Um, the motor to the right until it reaches the, the, the sensor T2 and in this position it should have a, a step 10 uh, which is a waiting step uh, which is going to ask uh, the semaphore if it is uh, free so this should be connected also to this point and uh, okay now we got here a, a junction and uh, the step uh, 11 okay should uh, be uh, turning the motor to the to the right with m3 until it reaches the the c position and in c position i'm going to invert the motor uh, direction using m4 note that in this case i don't need to to actuate v because it is in the right uh, it is uh, Pointing to the to the right direction. Okay, then when it reaches D2, I also don't need the uh, I don't need the, the the shared resource anymore, so I can connect this to this point. And oh, okay, I, in in this point I can have another uh, step, which is uh, 13, and is going to actuate the motor with M4 until it reaches the initial position, which is B. Okay, and okay, if I reach B, I can go and return the taken to the initial condition, okay? So, this is um, one solution uh, for this problem. 
The only thing that you may be asking is, okay, why didn't I put here uh, this uh, transition condition and this one? Okay. I have to give uh, priority to one of these ones, okay? So I could put, for, if I, I want to, to give priority to the car C1, to the shared resource, I could uh, put this transition equals to one, okay? And this one, okay, this one I could put, uh, for instance, uh, I, could, I could use not the one here, for instance, or another one, uh, not X3. One of these, also. it means when the the car one is in this position here, this it means that this step is active, and when it, this step is active, this is false. So this gives the priority to car one. Okay. So um, this is a solution, and but I'm going to to present you another one. Uh, okay. Uh, another one which is in uh, a graph set so this is the the solution which is in a graph set that you can uh, uh, activate i don't know is a okay no sorry um and uh, so we can uh, i'm going to try to sorry uh, okay go to sorry Okay, so if you go here, and um, you can uh, share, uh, use the English version, and the example is this one, shared resources. This is the problem, and this is one solution. Okay, there is one uh, difference between the solution that I presented, is, is that in this case, uh, I, uh, this solution used store uh, actions, okay? But it is the same, so, I mean, if you I press P1, the car one is going to perform the journey, as you can see. So the, this is the resource free. So now the resource is, uh, so if I push C2, it's going to, okay, maybe uh, it's going to wait a little bit here and then advance to the, to the shared uh, resource, okay? So um, as you can see here, the, I give the priority to car 1, so if the cars are pushed, I push P1 and P2 at the same time, in this case, they are going to move, but in this uh, needle point, just C1 is going to advance, okay? So, because this is going to be clear, this transition, and only when he, and this thing happens and uh, returns, is that the, um, the, the, the car 2 can use the shared resource, okay? So this is um, the the same solution, and you can uh, okay, you can do this uh, also frame by frame. Uh, sorry, I don't know if it is working or not. Okay, not. But uh, you can try to do if you find the the, the right button. Okay. This is, you can see what happens in the model and, and see uh, the evolution of the cars and uh, it works quite nicely, okay? And with this uh, demonstration, I'm going to conclude this video, hoping that you enjoy it. Thank you for watching.